Hey, good morning, you guys. How's it going? So before we start, I just want to make sure that everyone saw my video yesterday, my second one that I posted. So I just want to let you guys know that we will not be returning to the physical school for the remainder of the school year. However, you will continue doing lesson plans. Um, we're going to continue the fourth nine weeks. How we do that, whether that's through virtual learning or sending packets home, um, is still in discussion for our school. So once we know a little bit more about that, I'll be able to tell you more about that. But either way, I'm going to still continue to make these YouTube videos for you guys um, so that as you have questions, I'll be able to help you and, and answer any questions that you have. So don't worry. I am still your teacher. I am still your teacher. And I'm going to be with you for the rest of the year, okay? We have a whole nine weeks left. I'm going to be here. Don't you worry, okay? Good deal. So let's start with our daily agenda. So first, we have our before activity, which is mastery prep. Verb section one, exercise numero four. And then we have deering. Remember, I asked you guys yesterday to look up Saru Briarly. His work, A Long Way Home, which is our next big text. And then I want to talk a little bit more about The Secret Garden. So I'm trying to catch, make sure you guys are caught up. And then after your assignment is to read chapters 1 through 5, because I know some of y'all are not caught up. So you have the weekend to get caught up on your reading assignment. I'm not kidding. Give me your ugly face. So, our standard for today is back to reading informational text 6.2. Determine central idea. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da -da. So, let's kick it off. Now, where's my... Oh, I see it. Well, that's a big old look on my chin. So, here we go. Mastery prep exercise. Children's curiosity about tadpoles also lead to fascinating discovery. Okay. So we have an option of A, no change, leave it just as it is. B, leads. Children's curiosity about tadpoles also leads to fascinating discovery. C, lead us. So, uh, children's curiosity about tadpoles also lead us. Or D, have led. Children's curiosity about tadpoles also have led to fascinating discovery. Take a guess. All right, if you chose B, Leeds, you are the winner. Ding, 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 ding. Very good job. You chose correctly. It is children's curiosity about tadpoles also leads to fascinating discovery. Very good. That one was pretty good. So. Now, everybody get ready. So, I'm going to fill you guys in on Saru. Are y'all ready? Get ready for the tea, because it's some good stuff. I mean, great day, good stuff. It's going to be a good day. So, here we go. So, if you found anything for him or Googled, you already know that he is... 
an Indian-born Australian. So how does that happen? That happens because he was born in India, and one day at the age of five, guys, five, five, kindergarten, kindergarten, kindergarten. His brother gets on a train, and he's like, hey, I'm going to go to this town that's just like, you know, just a couple of miles away. I'm going to take the train. And his name is Gunter? Guther? I think it's Guther. I think it's Guther. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Guther. So Guther gets on the train, and... Saru is with him, and Saru gets really tired, and so his brother says, hey, wait on this train, and I'll come back to get you. Well, his brother, unbeknownst to him, gets hit by an oncoming train and dies. So Saru falls asleep, and ends up riding this train like a thousand miles away from home. True story, right? So then he panics because he's five, right? He's five. And then, y'all, this is so juicy. You can't make this stuff up. This is real life. This is nonfiction. It's real. It's real life. So then, Here's what happens. So he ends up getting on all these other trains, and all of them keep leading him back to this other train station that's a thousand miles away from home. So finally, one of the train conductors uh, finds him, takes him home, and tries to sell him into slavery. Childhood slavery. That's a true story. So he gets out of there. He runs away back into the street, ends up living on the street for two weeks. Two weeks at the age of five. Can you imagine scraping through garbage to get your food and sleeping under the benches in a train station at the age of five? Five. You in kindergarten. You probably don't even know how to tie your shoes yet. That's a fact. Can you imagine? So anyway, he meets this traveler who's a teenager. And this teenager takes him to the police station and gets him filed as a missing child. Um, and the mother can't, like, the mother cannot find her children. The mother is, so his birth mother is very much looking for both of her sons. And finally, they find the body of the older brother. And so the mother spends all of her time and effort trying to find her son. But before she can find her son, Saru, he's put up for adoption, right? And he's put up... Uh, for adoption to this beautiful, wonderful Australian family that takes care of him. Okay, so he's adopted by this Australian family. And then, 25 years later, Saru goes back to his hometown and finally gets to see his bio mom again. So, le so let's make sure that we recap all this, okay? I should probably write this down for you guys. <laughs> I know some of you are like, thank goodness, Mr. Morgan, because you talk too fast. I already know. I already know, y'all. So here we go. Number one. Saru is Indian born Australian. Okay. 